We bravely keep going because television, perhaps more than any other medium, can keep us connected, informed and entertained. It can also bore us. But tonight, let's try to ignore that as we reward various people while keeping the kind of distance from them that I've dreamed of my entire life. It is sad that it has taken a pandemic to enforce the most basic parameters of personal space. One man who knows how to honour my boundaries by maintaining a 10,000-mile buffer between us whenever he can is Tim Minchin. Timothy, thank you for not joining me from Sydney. Perhaps my greatest fear among my many fears vis-a-vis -vis COVID-19 is that in the coming years there will be even more film and episodic TV about zombies. I think I'll write a zombie film set in Hollywood in which the writers all get bitten by a zombie carrying a disease which when you are infected manifests in a desire to write zombie films. I know our job is to hold the mirror up, mirror up to, to society, society But I've been avoiding mirrors of late Cause it's got so goddamn ugly Remember when Cersei Lannister was absurd hyperbole But now she seems quite tame And her naked walk of shame Being pelted with human poo with you. Is just what we daily do we daily on Twitter I know I sound bitter, but tell me, how do you make great art when reality has jumped a shock? Who cares? Let's raise the rafters. It's the 2020 BAFTAs. No one's stronger than an artist in a crisis. Comes hell or high water, pandemic or disorder. We will stand up to give each other prizes. There's no one to applaud me. Who am no I? To no camera me. to record these real tears real that I cry. Will I just shrivel up and die? If an actor dressed as a tree falls in a forest <laughs> and the self tape doesn't upload, <laughs> does she even exist? Does she even exist? And if Matilda stays closed, am I still rich? Uh, Welcome you RT Martins to the 2020 BAFTAs. Tell me, who is the designer of your tracks? Tell me, tell me, who is on your tracks? Let's get through these awards, then get back to our real jobs. Signing virtuous petitions in our ugly lovely, lovely hearts. To all you clever nominees. I hope you're very, very pleased. I'm not bitter that my show wasn't nominated. It's got 8.6 on IMDb. I hope you have fun. Remember whether you lost or won. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Because the planet's almost dead. Richard I.O.R.D. Richard I.O.R.D. Good luck, everyone. The BAFTA goes to... Naomi Aki, the end of the effing what? world. <laughs> oh man, are you serious? Oh wait, I've got to get my phone up to, to um... Uh, this is think... not the time to text. I'm oh, sorry! <laughs> okay, uh, I'd like to thank Charlie Covell, Desnia Carragher, Dom Dominic Buchanan, Karma Cochrane, Lucy Forbes, Jess Barden, Alex the author, and the whole of Clerkenworth Films. This, oh my God, and my dad. I love my dad and he's been so supportive. Um, I know my mum up in the clouds would be so proud, and my sister. Oh man, 
I'm really happy. This this makes lockdown so much better. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, good luck, guys. And the BAFTA goes to... Will Sharp, Jiri Haji. Hello, uh, good evening from the recent past. Uh, I've just filmed a version of this in slow motion uh, by mistake, so I'm hoping that this one works. Uh, sorry not to be there with you live, uh, but I'd just like to say thank you to BAFTA. Thank you to Jane Featherstone, Chris Fry, Susie Liggett, everyone at Sister Pictures. Thank you to Tak, Kelly, Yorske, Awi, all my fellow cast members. Thank you also to Julian Farino and Ben Chessel, both incredibly brilliant, generous, kind directors from whom I learned an awful lot. And thank you, Joe Barton, for writing such beautifully funny and complex characters, and in this case, a half Japanese one. Uh, and just to say that it was enough for me to have had the opportunity to play the role. And so whether this clip sees the light of day or not, uh, I have been and will remain incredibly grateful for, for all of it. So thank you very much. The award for female performance in a comedy is completely different to that of a male performance in a comedy. And here to talk about this at length is the BAFTA award-winning Greg Davies. Yeah. Hello, Richard. How are you, Greg? I'm all right, thank you. I'm very excited. Are you? I'm very excited because... My programme just won a BAFTA. Uh, yeah, we, we said that. Don't over it. Oh. What are you here for? Well, We're I'm here, here to... meet the nominees, aren't we? Um, yeah. All right. Here they are. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. Potentially, congratulations. I haven't got one yet. No, I know. <laughs> I said potentially. No, the hair. The hair. Oh. That's great. Good. Gosh. Good, baby. Zoom Hello. is great for banter, isn't it, Greg? I, I'm going to go straight to the. Um, I'm going to go straight to the scripted stuff. Oh, if that's all right. But I'm going to do it in a seamless manner. Go on. Hello. Women in comedy are at the vanguard of the best work being produced today. Female-led shows rightly dominate any sensible discussion on originality, and it's a great thrill to be asked to present the BAFTA for best female performance in a comedy. BAFTA is keen to celebrate all four of the nominees in this important category. And you know how I know that? Because they are watching in from the safety of their homes, whereas I am here in a studio during a global pandemic. I suppose I should just be grateful that I wasn't asked to present this whilst teetering on the edge of an active volcano or panic surfing on a tsunami. The message is clear. BAFTA has its favourites and the rest of us are nothing more than cannon fodder. Iowati thinks this is a career high for him. It isn't, mate. We're both collateral damage. The moment there's a vaccine, Norton will be parachuted straight back in. Where's Norton? Is he here? No, he's not. He's at home wearing a mask where it's safe. That said, what an honour it is to present the award. And here are the nominees. And the BAFTA goes to... Sean Clifford for Fleabag. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't think you can see Phoebe, but... Uh, uh, oh, my God. Sorry, this is so unexpected. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even believe in competition. And all of the women that I'm recognised with, including the one... Including the one... <laughs> I wouldn't even be here because of, oh my God, this is unbelievable. Thank you, thank you to everyone on my jury. I was on a jury for the first time this year. In fact, it was my first Zoom of, uh, of lockdown. So it was memorable and the connection was terrible. So thank you to everyone who like endured that process. Um, thank you to everyone involved on our project. You've been incredible. I wouldn't be here. They're like There is no Claire without Fleabag. Um, I honestly don't, I don't know what to say. This is, <laughs> this 
is so stupid and so weird and so surreal. And Sarah and Bemi, you're amazing. And um, I hope you're celebrating today because we're all winners here. Um, it's all kind of a nonsense, really. It's, it's thank you. a beautiful mess. <laughs> thank, um, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank oh you. My God. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I think the word you were looking for were you beat Phoebe. Um, <laughs> And that is why we need camera people. <laughs> OK, get a grip. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you to BAFTA for giving me this opportunity and finally recognising, I'm joking, I'm very proud. Uh, I just want to start by thanking my mum and dad, Winston and Eve, for giving me life. And without that, I wouldn't be here. And also my children, uh, Riaz, Missy and Winston, to my beautiful wife, Sabrina. Thank you, guys. I couldn't live without you. Um, listen, I, when I first got this award, I was like, wow, well, it's a bit early for a Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, I was wrong. It's a special award, and it is special, and I appreciate it. I know that I don't believe that I'm very special. I believe that what I've been given is an opportunity, and what I've done is taken my opportunity and handed it backwards and handed it to other people that need that opportunity. That is something that, you know what, I didn't plan to do. It's just a natural um, feeling. It's a natural uh, reaction. Uh, I feel very grounded coming from East London, where I was born and raised. And I know that, you know, in East London, we treat people, we try to treat people with respect because everyone comes from the same cloth. And in the world of film and television, nothing is different in that sense. In, the, in other words, no one's different. So me giving opportunity to someone else is just part of my inheritance, part of my, my upbringing. Um, I'm hoping that from this point on in this world, in this junction, that everyone sees that you can't make it without anyone else, that we all think about paying it backwards to the person behind you so they get an opportunity. That's definitely why I think I've got this award. Um, one day I might get an acting award, but until that day, I'm going to make more opportunity for more actors, more writers and more people to come and speak and tell their story. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Go on then. Uh, sorry, go, go on. Go on. Start talking. <laughs> No, 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 we agreed. You would do this bit, and I would do the, uh, and the BAFTA goes to... No, we... Absolutely, categorically, we agreed completely the opposite. I'm not giving you all the glory. Oh, come on, it's, it's hardly glory, is it? Well, then, you'll be fine doing the other bit, then. Go on, start. I'm not doing it. No, am I? Well, it's going to be a long night, isn't it? Oh, Jesus. All right, uh, the nominees for best miniseries are... <laughs> right. Um, and the winner is... Hey! Gavin and Stacey, Nessa proposes to Smithy. Congratulations! <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Can you hear us? Yes. I'm delighted. That's yes, right. we can. Thank you. That is incredible. We were up against such competition. Thank you so much. You know, bringing the show back after 10 years was such a big deal for us and we weren't sure how it was going to be received and it had such a great response. Um, there are so many people that we have to thank. Thank you to everybody that was involved in making the show. It was a, a really joyous experience for us all. And uh, this winning this BAFTA is immense. <laughs> yes, thank you very much to everybody that voted and to our cast and the whole crew who made the show. And uh, this is a, a, a lovely, this is some lovely icing on a already really lovely cake. I'm delighted. Ruth, yeah. any other cake references you'd like to add? <laughs> I just want to sink my teeth into that BAFTA and suck all the sugary juice out of it. There she is. Okay. Let's end okay. on that metaphor, and I hope the photo comes out nice from that booth, Ruth.
The BAFTA goes to... Jared Harris, Chernobyl. Wow. Uh, that's a surprise. Um, BAFTA, you've, uh, you've ruined my losing streak. I'm annoyed at you. You know, the show's won a lot of uh, accolades, and I think that's, uh, that's testament to Craig Mazin and Carolyn Strauss and uh, Jane Featherstone stewardship. I'd say the best decision they made was, was to put every single episode in um, Johan Reink's hand. He's a, he's a badass, and I'd do it again with him in a heartbeat. There's a couple of people who are on a similar streak that I was on, and I want to just give them a shout out. Um, uh, uh, Nina Gold and Robert Stern, the casting department, and the amazing swivel pip Daniel Parker. Um, also, I want to say a quick shout out to Carrie Ann Tholis. Uh, he, he was at HBO, and I think he was the first person who said yes to um, yes to Chernobyl. And he was actually the first person that I met uh, after I'd been cast. And about about ten minutes into our meeting, he looked at me and he said, um, "Jared, I hope you don't mind me telling you this, but." You weren't our first choice. And uh, then he said, would you like to know who was? And I said, oh, I would, yes, very much. Daniel Day-Lewis, but he retired from acting. Um, I'd just like to say quick to Daniel, uh, don't stay away too long. You know, I miss seeing you up there. And finally, um, to my best friend and to my wife, Allegra, uh, she's always got my back. I share everything with her, and I share this with her. Bless you. I love you with all my heart. Thank you, guys. Thank you to BAFTA. Bless you. Thank you, Jared. Congratulations. I'm also no one's first choice. And the BAFTA goes to... Glenda Jackson for Elizabeth is Missing. Oh, wow. Oh, my word. I'm absolutely stunned. Um, thank you very much indeed. I mean, it was a privilege to do the show and even more of a privilege to be linked to these marvellous actresses. There should be four awards <laughs> tonight. But anyway, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. If they would let me trade, I'd Give a year for half a day Just curled up on the sofa with you We'd wander down to Cottesloe Eat fish and chips in the final glow I'd hold my breath for I forgive you Sometimes I feel you with me in the dark And your face is in the faces of the strangers walking by me in the park